So I've opened this up again. <laughs> Same as it was the last time. Um, I don't think the problem these other folks are having is, is down in here. It might well be this guy. There's quite a bit going on in there that needs to work. Uh, this auto shut off business. Uh, to really get a handle on it, I have to have this thing powered up and running and, and look at it while it doesn't. Um, not sure. Uh, it's kind of hard to get these boogered up. You have to almost try at it. One thing you do not do need to be careful of is this armature and how that engages this piece. That pushes on this. Not not terribly difficult to guess get this in there with with that lobe on this armature on the wrong side of this lobe. It can happen. Uh, trust me. Oh I don't I really don't think there's much down here. I mean if you got broken teeth off of these cams you're finished. Um, have a look at them, you know, see if you can tell. I guess I could count the teeth, but normally you can tell. See how easy these, these spin this gravity's doing that. Yeah, you should be able to tell if, if, if there are teeth broken off of these. I would doubt that's your trouble. If, if everything else seems to, to work okay, just got this one function trouble. See, that's stiff again. I gotta look at that. Thing on it. Shouldn't be. Anyway, get to that. And I'm very interested in this right now. The uh, real stand. Um, it's got power applied to it uh, from two two places. Uh, one is for the take up reel, which has a clutch on it. You want to make sure from that spring is there. This has to spring back and that has to do with this engaging the rewinder rewind uh, reel here and of course that clutch is what keeps tension on the tape as it's spooling in play mode spooling uh, from uh, supply to take up in, in play mode uh, that has to slip and usually the problem with these is that they they slip too much and don't uh, apply enough attention to the tape across the heads. You, that's, that's a separate trouble. Now, this particular one, if I stop this gear and turn this pulley, it, 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 it grips. Spring-loaded uh, friction between the plastic pulley and a pad, sort of like felt or something on, on this brass part here, this disc. That's working. Spring's there. Take uh, take up real drive. That's this. And that's where that auto stop function uh, comes in. Oh, a couple things about that worth note. You have to make sure that this spring is play in place. There's a little tiny one up here and that that's in place. That this, this armature moves quite freely of course that the take up reel spins uh, that this tire moves freely it does and then it has some grip on the outside edge of this reel drive um, that can be a problem because if that is not engaging f fully with the take up reel drive it'll, the take up reel will stop when that happens this mechanism will shut the uh, drive off how it does that and how does pause when it's in pause mode how does that stop this drive or uh, oh good lord don't get old this auto stop though. how does the pause function keep auto stop from turning the thing off little 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 bit tricky so 
normally this pulley turns all of the time. Actually, I'm turning it the wrong way. It turns all of the time. And there's an armature that engages this tire to the reel. So when it's in stop or pause, this tire pulls away from the reel. So the reel stops, even though this keeps turning. You might notice that. So with this tire engaged to the reel, the reel spins and the auto stop mechanism does not activate. Right? The reel, see, I'm, I'm just manually turning this, this pulley here which is in constant rotation as long as the thing is turned on. And it might be a little difficult to see here. But if you look on top of this gear, there's actually a cam and a paw there. And this bit is associated with those two things. What's going on? This turns in a clockwise direction. As long as this reel is turning, it resets this pawl. In other words, there's a cam on here. It's a little difficult to see, probably. But that cam is pushing this that way, which aligns this pawl so that this little finger here catches it. Right? But as long as the reel is spinning, it pushes this mechanism back so that the pole is no longer in the way of this tooth that's going around. So that's how it detects that this reel is turning. Right? I can turn this all day long. This sets it, this resets it. In other words, this arms it, this disarms it. If it does not get disarmed because this reel has stopped, because it's at the end of the tape, or it's something got tangled, or whatever. Um, this paw will engage this tooth here, pull on something, and cause an auto stop. And I can demonstrate that. In fact, I think I just did. <laughs> so I'm spinning this round. The uh, reel's turning. You can see this setting. That's set and reset. Set. You see, when this moves that way, this paw comes close to this tooth, or this center of this uh, gear and cam. So this part sets, sets it, arms it. This part up here disarms it. So it knows that this is turning and this is turning and that the tape's moving through the cassette past the heads, through the pinch roller and all. But if I stop the reel and continue to turn this, it doesn't reset this. So that tooth comes around and engages the paw and does that. This pulls on another part of the, the, the transport mechanism that, that engages it into auto stop. Now, Pause. What does pause do? How does pause disable this function? It does so by putting a little bit of force on one of these bits so that it, I think it's this one, and it pushes it that way. See, it pushes this paw away from this tooth. So now I can spin this all I want. I can stop the reel turn this all they want and it will not auto stop. So you have to make sure that when it's in pause mode that this little plastic bit here, part of this armature is actually being pushed on. Spring has to be there and it gets this pull out of the way so that this tab here, this tooth can't grab a hold of it and cause an auto stop. Even if the uh, reel is not turning. It just won't do it. If I let this go, it definitely will. Click. That's how that works. I sure hope um, 
uh, that helps uh, folks working on these. It's not always real obvious when you're looking at the stuff, especially once you start uh, pulling it apart. It's not always real obvious um, how they work. If you stare at this crap enough, you, you get an idea. Um, it is it is important that the tire on this idler here uh, be in good shape. It should have a pretty good friction on the, from the reel to this. This one, and I suppose it's a little weak. And when you get these belt kits, you, they don't come with the tires. Some of these, and it looks like this one is possible, it's, to take the, the rubber part off of it, pick it off carefully, take that rubber part off and maybe revitalize it some. Sometimes all it takes is a little tiny bit of abrasive material um, on the surface of the, of the tire to revitalize it, get rid of the surface oxidation, whatever, um, and, and make it make it work again. Um, so, auto auto stop troubles. Uh, the prime suspect is, is usually in here. Uh, this tire could be slipping. I don't think that's the. I, I'm sure it's not the case in in, in all circumstances, but uh, quite, a, quite a bit of uh, little rocky, swivelly bits in here that, that need to uh, move freely, be very slippery, and then you need there's you know, bits in here that need to be grippy and not slippy, so uh, I think it, for this particular model instrument, it, it Quite a bit of trouble, so uh, could, with auto stop are, are going to be related to something up here, most likely this tire. But the problem I'm seeing is that they, not with my instrument, but with others that are working on these things, is that it seems to go into a, a pause mode, and it's not pushing this pull out of the way so that it doesn't stop when it's in pause mode. My my best guess, without actually having got my hands and eyes on on their machines, it's it's a little difficult to tell. But maybe maybe um, showing a little bit about one that works uh, at least marginally. Uh, what what might could go wrong to, to cause the, their troubles? Um. I think I don't leave that for now. I'm gonna go away, look some things over. Anything else leaps out at me, uh, I, I would like to capture that uh, with this thing. Uh, I'm sure that once I get the belts and have this thing belts installed and have this put back together, it's going to be just fine. I am going to re revisit this gear here. That feels a little stiff. Something... Something's odd about this. That should not be stiff. And I notice this material, what this gear is made of, does not seem to be what any of these other plastics are. Not... That's a separate thing. It's a different color it may be an incompatibility with this material this gear is made of and the brass uh, shaft upon which it is mounted that um, causes a, a binding in that. I am going to look at that. I'm not going to bore you here with it. I've been there, done that. Uh, but I am going to I'm going to revisit that. That needs attention again. <laughs> it's been a few months. Uh, but sometimes that's the way it goes. I used Molly Cotis lube on that. It may not matter what you use. There's an incompatibility, incompatibility between this material and brass. It's just going to keep happening. Oh, maintenance.
maintenance, maintenance, headache. So, anyway, um, I'm not going to revitalize this tire. Eh, it's a little, a little slippy. Uh, maybe take some 480 grit to it or something. Burnish it a little bit, but you, know, you destroy that, I think you're pretty much done with that mechanism, of that transport. But otherwise, it's, it seems in, in good shape. Hope, hope uh, this helps. I, I, I'm going to continue this later. I'm, after I pretty much put things back together, uh, maybe show a little bit about that, uh, <clears throat> and uh, do some testing uh, final after final assembly. Uh, but yeah, I want to ponder something in, in, in here, I'll ponder this a little bit, see if anything that leaps out that, that might could help someone.